Hello children. Today I am going to explain section 2, unit 6. This is our drama that's name is The Canterville Ghost written by Oscar Wilde. This chapter is about a ghost and an American family. Let's see the characters of this drama. First character is Sir Simon. Sir Simon is a ghost. Mr. Mr. Hiram Otis and Mrs. Lucretia Otis, an American couple. Virginia, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Otis. Washington, son of Mr. and Mrs. Otis. Clark and Lavis, both are twins. They are also the children of Mrs. and Mr. Otis. James is the butler. Butler means like a servant, the caretaker of a house. Lord Canterville, the former owner of Canterville Castle. So this is the story that revolved around a castle. Let's see the scene first. Buying the castle. In this chapter, the American couple and the owner of the castle discussed about a castle. They were discussing the American family wanted to buy this. Let's see the story. Lord Canterville and Mr. Otis having a discussion. In this scene, we find that both are discussing about this castle. My family, Lord Canterville, Sir, Sir, I think you are being rather foolish. This castle is haunted. My family abandoned it that day. My great-grand-aunt, the Duchess of Bolton, fell to a skeleton on hands on her shoulder. Mr. Otis, my lord, I will buy the house and everything in it, including the ghost. Lord Canterville, please be warned, sir. The ghost always appears before the death of any member of my family, Mr. Otis. And so does the family doctor. Lord Canterville, I come from a modern country, America, where we don't believe in ghosts. Lord Canterville, it's all right with me, but please remember that I warn you. In this scene, we see that an American family wanted to purchase the castle, and Lord Canterville, the owner of the house, informed him. Even insisted him not to buy this castle. He warned them that this castle is haunted and ghost appears time to time. But Mr. Otis proudly mentioned that he belonged to America, to a modern country, and they don't believe in the ghost. So he wanted to purchase the castle, including the ghost. Let's see the scene number two. The Otis family walks up to the castle. Now, the Otis family purchased this castle and now this is the first visit of the family to this castle. James, I bid you welcome to Cantoville Castle. Mr. Otis, good day. James, let me introduce you to my family. This is my wife. Mrs. Lucretia Otis. This is my eldest son, Washington. This is my daughter, Virginia. And those are twins. They are Lewis and Clark, named after the American explorer. Now, in this scene, we see that they, were, they are welcomed by the butler, the caretaker of the house, whose name is James. He welcomed them all and Mr. Otis introduced his family to the James. Let's see the next. Lewis and Clark run on the stage. Lewis, hi James. Where's the fridge? I'm thirsty. Clark, hey funny. Had you have there. James, let me show you all around the castle. This is door to the kitchen next to the fireplace. Virginia, mother, look at this. It looks 
like blood stain blood blood sorry like blood on the rug hair james yes it's a blood from eleanor de canterville she was murdered there about 300 years ago mrs ortis that's horrible somebody was killed there james yes sir simon de canterville killed his wife there mrs ortis interrupting pardon me who is that simon guy james oh just a relation of my employers that's him on the wall mrs ortis james remove that ghastly man from all over all from our wall at once james removes portrait and sat in on table virginia sits down and gets her paints out here we see that mr ortis introduced the, to james the family members then we see on the stage the twins ran and asked for fridge and they were thirsty they need water then james showed him the castle the door of the kitchen and the fireplace and then they then virginia saw some blood on the floor then she, she showed the blood to the mother then the mother inquired about that and james told them everything that this that was the blood of eleanor canterville that she was murdered here 300 years before then james told that he was the relation relative of the owner of the castle and that man was sir simon and he also showed the portrait of the sir simon that was put on the wall so mrs mrs otis at once asked him to remove the the portrait from the wall and james removed and kept this on a table and virginia took out her paints and put there let's see the next clark yay i bet that's why he haunts the place sir simon sir simon where are you hiding come out and show yourself mr mrs otis do be quiet <clears throat> lewis and clark here we see the children make the fun of the ghost and they call sir simon sir simon and they ask to come in front of them not to hide himself and mother make him silent so children this is the explanation of scene 1 and scene 2 rest we will discuss in the next video thank you so much